All right, so now I'm going to demo transition mode, which is mode two. First thing we're going to do is select the modes. So you disconnect the power and hold the record button at startup. And I'm going to choose mode two for transition. So you can see I've got two green blinks there. So I'm going to select that. For input modes, I'm going to choose three. There we go. So three yellow blinks. And that's making both input one and two interruptible. All right, so it blinks the first the motor mode and then the input mode, lets you know which one is selected. All right, and as usual, the wheel controls the speed of the motor. Now, I'm just gonna quickly record two programs. One is a few seconds of the motor in that direction. Now I'm gonna to switch to input two by holding the record button for 10 seconds. Wait till it starts blinking slow. So I'm choosing two blinks, letting go. Now I'm gonna record the motor moving in the other direction really quickly. All right, so we got a few seconds of that. All right, so if this was the normal mode, as soon as I pressed play, the motor would immediately jump to going in that whatever direction and speed I had and it would be pretty violent. You'd see the motor twist, and if you had a mechanism connected to this, it, it can you know, start damaging things or damaging your motor or overloading the power supply. But when I do it with transition mode, you can see it transitions up to the, the full speed, and then at the end of the scene, it transitions back to zero. Now, if I was to trigger the other input, you can see it goes the other direction. Again, in normal mode, if I was to trigger this button while the motor was turning the other direction, the motor would immediately go from forward to reverse and that would be fairly violent. But in this mode, I can at any point go back and forth between the two directions by pressing each button and it will just transition between those two speeds so that it always ensures that the movement is smooth and safe to uh, your mechanics and the picobolt and your power supply.